1. Conduct a scan of your network subnet or target machine to find the potential vulnerabilities. Here we have two machines, Kali Linux is the attacker on the left. Metasploitable, the target is on the right. We are going to be using Nmap to then enumerate the device and find its vulnerabilities within various protocols, of which there are many. Gather information from your scan and place in a notepad file, so you know the ports and services to check for vulnerabilities. This is a very useful habit to get into, as you will be gathering a lot of information during the pen test process. Good housekeeping and note-taking is essential. Two, now it is time to use the information from your scan to try and gain access. Start the Metasploit console. Type MSF console and press enter. This will take a little while to load, but not enough time to make a coffee. Metasploit is starting. Three, search within Metasploit for the services displayed on Nmap. This will help with the remote access. We will be using modules within the services to achieve our goal. Here, we have taken a specific piece of text, Samba SMB 3.0.2, and will search this in Metasploit on the left. It has found an exploit. 4. This selects the specific module that will be used for exploitation. Type Use, followed by the module number. In this case, U0. You are now in the correct module context and will be using the options within this module to begin the exploit. 5. Configure the details that you are going to use for exploit. Information such as the local host, remote host, port numbers etc. Here, I am setting the remote host IP address, which is Metasploit. Six, the phase where we aim to take control of the target machine using exploit. You will now own the remote machine. We have now gained remote access to Metasploitable using a weakness in the SMB protocol. We can perform all kinds of operations on here, commands or drop malware on the device, if we so wish. The application on Metasploitable has been built poorly. We broke in using a vulnerability in the SMB protocol. Seven, time for one more exploit. This time, we are going to try exploiting FTP. VSFTPD to be precise. Perform the same action again, by taking the information from the Nmap scan and searching for it in Metasploit. Perfect, there is only one exploit for VSFTPD. Do the same actions again, by providing the relevant details for the options. Set the our host's IP address. Hit exploit and you will find that we have gained access again. We are now logged in as root on this system and have full access again. The owner is unaware at this stage and a good hacker will mask his access. I have created my own folder and can drop any files in here I wish. I can also exfiltrate data.
This is a very high-level overview of Metasploit and its basic functions for ethical hacking. There is a lot more to Metasploit and we have only just scratched the surface. Thanks to G-Man for another easy-to-follow video. Like and subscribe. See you soon.